You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, bold fans. So I suspect there may be a revolution soon at Forrester Creations or aimed at Forrester Creations with people taking sides against Ridge and Steffi. And I just wonder if Dollar Bill Spencer gets involved to stir the pot. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And I want to talk about what could happen after Steffi fired Hope Logan once her mom, Brooke, finds out and all hell breaks loose. Please click subscribe if you're not following us. So... In a very poorly contrived plot, if you are current on episodes, you saw Hope fall onto Finn, and of course, Steffi walked in on it, and the bad writing didn't stop with a lame excuse for Finn being in the design office. It continued, like, with why he would even assume Hope was expecting him to be there, and so she slipped into a nightie. Cute gown, by the way. Finn had no plans to be at Forrester Creations that day, and Hope said, I've been waiting for you. Why would Finn think, why would he assume that Hope was waiting for him when he was only there by happenstance and made a last-minute decision to drop off Steffi's tablet? For a man with a medical degree, he's kind of dense sometimes, right? So I just don't understand why the writers want to insult the viewers by writing stuff like this, but it's what we've got. So now let's talk about where we go from here, because I think this could be a great opportunity to pull Bill Spencer into this storyline and give him front burner work again. It's been a while since Bill had a big rivalry with Ridge and with his son, Will Spencer, working over at Forrester Creations that could make it even spicier. Plus, you know, Bill is always happy to do anything that will allow him to spend more time with Brooke Logan. So Hope did as I expected. As I mentioned in my last video, she didn't tell Steffi she was waiting on Carter because she knew if she told Steffi, it would call into question Carter fighting to save Hope for the future and might put his job at risk. And at that point, she didn't know her own job was at risk, right? So all of that could make Carter's judgment as a COO look biased. And I think it is biased. Just, you know, let's get that out of the way. So really, it was her silence that got Hope fired as much as being on top of Finn, I think. I saw some comments here with people upset that Steffi didn't let Hope explain herself. But say say that she did. What, what would she have told Steffi? Hope wasn't going to admit the Carter thing. So how would Hope explain being in lingerie in the middle of the workday and saying, lock the door, I was waiting on you? If it wasn't for that part, if it was just being in the gown, she could say, oh, it was pretty, I wanted to try it on. But there was more there, more moving parts, you know. So what I did think was interesting was while that was going on, Brooke was insisting to Taylor and Ridge that Hope never really wanted to steal Finn, which was a lie. I don't remember the exact words and I didn't have the energy to go back through my DVR, but it was essentially this. It was just a one time thing and the kiss was a mistake was what she was saying, defending and saying, no, no, Hope wasn't trying to destroy Steffi's marriage. But viewers know better, you remember, because Hope told Brooke, Steffi, and she did it more than once, Steffi doesn't appreciate Finn and he deserves someone who will treat him better. And Brooke asked, do you mean someone like you? Do you mean you? And, you know, Hope would kind of shrug and she would look away, basically saying, yeah, yeah, I think Finn deserves someone like me. And the bottom line is Steffi fired Hope and she told her dad about it. And Ridge is completely shocked that the whole, you know, Finn and Hope thing, especially after they were just discussing it and Brooke was just defending her. And then Steffi asked Ridge to back her up. And according to official spoilers, that is what he does. I am quite certain that while they're talking, Hope's going to run to Brooke and say, Steffi fired me over this Finn Carter mix up. And really, Brooke shouldn't have any sympathy for Hope because she just warned her that she and Carter were going to get busted if they didn't keep their hands and lips off each other at work because it was going to cause problems. And it wasn't exactly, you know, the scenario that Brooke was envisioning, but it happened. Hope ignored the warning and now she's fired. And that could open the door for Bill Spencer and this revolution. I'm going to talk about it in just a second. Bear with me. So Brooke's going to defend Hope, even though her daughter kind of got herself into this mess by, 
you know, try to fool around again at work. And Brooke will, I'm certain, demand that Ridge reinstate hope and hope for the future and make it clear that Steffi can't fire Brooke's daughter. But I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think so at all. You know, I believe that Eric Forrester will probably back Ridge and Steffi if Brooke tries to go to him because he was saying the other day how dismal the numbers are for hope for the future and how he also doesn't understand why Carter is pushing so hard for hope for her line and for this big change. So now let's talk about how Dollar Bill might come into this storyline. Remember, Carter has that big House of Forrester concept that he's been thinking about for a while. He's done all the business plans, research, all this. He presented it already to Steffi, Ridge, and Eric. He has told other, Zenday was in the room, and then he just told Taylor. He was basically pitching it, you know, in front of her too. And Steffi, Ridge, and Eric have already decided amongst themselves, this is not a fit for us, at least not for right now. And now we have Hope Logan fired and Hope for the Future cut. And Carter's not looking so great. You know, if you remember, he, he he's definitely done these biased things. And they told him to tap the brakes. They'd let him know about the concept. But you know what? He didn't stop. When he stopped by and talked to Deacon at Il Giardino, he was out meeting with investors about the concept that they told him, you know, hang on. And they've already basically hinted they weren't going to say yes to. But think about this. Who needs a bunch of investors when you have one Bill Spencer? So I could see Brooke going to Bill and telling him that Steffi fired Hope and how angry that makes her because Ridge isn't backing her up like Brooke thinks he should. But I don't know why she would expect Ridge to choose her daughter Hope over his daughter Steffi. Why would he? Brooke would never choose Steffi over Hope. She wouldn't. So I could see Brooke telling Bill all about Carter being a champion for Hope and Hope for the Future and the whole House of Forrester concept. And I just wonder if Bill might bankroll some sort of scheme against Forrester Creations, either, you know, trying to buy them out. That'd be hard because the company is privately owned by Eric Steffi Ridge and a tiny sliver by Tom but maybe Bill could convince Carter Hope and Brooke, maybe even Katie, to come over to start a competing company that he bankrolls, and it could be House of Logan or House of Spencer or House of Spencer Logan, you know, and it could compete with Forrester Creations and maybe even overtake them by using that big idea Carter came up with because, you know, with Dollar Bill's ego, he would love the idea of owning a company that was all about luxury brands being under an umbrella that he owned. I could honestly overlook the bad writing with this Hope and Finn on the desk thing if they came up with a really creative plot to light a fire of competition between a United Spencer Logan Walton team taking on the Forsters. I think that would be a lot of fun to watch. And I will say this, I do not expect that even when the truth about Carter and Hope comes out, I, I don't think Carter would be fired. I mean, I think he might be in trouble with, you know, Eric and Ridge. Steffi might want him fired, but I don't think Eric and Ridge would fire him. I, maybe a little probation or, you know, we're watching you, don't misstep again. But what I could see is him being tempted away from Forrester Creations if it meant he got to keep working with Hope. She went ahead and did that private lingerie show for him and he got to be in charge of this big vision concept that he had, even if it's not under the name House of Forrester and it's House of Spencer or House of Logan or something like that, or even House of SLW, Spencer Logan Walton, something. We'll see. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>